Okay, so this is week three, and today's day is the 3rd of October. So today we started off with some stretches to warm up our, the muscles in our shoulders and neck. It was okay because I found it hard when doing the windmill stretch, with one shoulder going one way and the other shoulder going the other way. That was a physical pre preparation. Then we moved on to a new exercise called the Alexander Technique, and we had to put one hand onto our diaphragm and other and our other hand on and our other hand on on top of the other hand and breathe in for four seconds and then breathe out for fifteen seconds and relax. And then do the same thing again but for for thir for thirty seconds. It was quite difficult to keep breathing out. But eventually I I kept up with it and I got there in the end. That too was a was a physical preparation. Then we we started to walk around the room and paired up with, with someone. I had to work with, with two people. I worked with with Leah and and Katie, Catherine, and each person was named either A or B. Katie was A, I was B, and Leah was C. And we were following Katie, thinking about the way she was walking and moving her head and her arms. Then Katie got tapped on the shoulder. She she stood next to our costruder and checked if me and, and Leah were following the ways that, that she was doing. Then we were asked about the way Katie was doing her body language. And then we swapped over so that I, I was C, Leah was A, and K was B. We did the same thing, and my thoughts on both the way their body languages were were easy to follow because Leah had her shoulders her straight, had her, her arms straight, and and she was very relaxed, so she was waving them as well, and she was doing a marching rhythm, marching rhythm with her legs, and Katie had her head down and in front, and when when walking, when walking on her on her heels, what I could have done to improve is probably re led the group off myself. Of but in the other groups there was only. There was only two people. That this too was a physical pre preparation. For the next exercise, we had to bring in our favourite sweet in to share and with everyone and think of from our pa past and think of of how how it felt and taste taste food and. We've tried our the the foods we've tried are our butter candies, um, rhubarb and custard, Haribo strawberries, raspberry bonbons, fruit salads, skips, fruit pastels, pinballs, and the and the chocolate that I brought in was was um with some chocolate bitter mints and the reason I bought, I bought them in was because I thought of the memory when I used to nick my, my dad's bitter mints and he used to shout at me. My weaknesses was I didn't have much to say where everyone did so next time I'm going to try and, and say it a little bit more. Then we did our own games when we when we did the shake hand murder and this time I did a lot better because I found out who the murderer was. It was it was Gina. Whereas the last time I, I didn't really have a, have a clue who, who it was. Then, we went on to a new exercise called, what you doing, and for this exercise we all stood in a circle and Jenny was pointing at someone, and she said what what you doing, and quickly we had to improvise doing some th something. For example, if Jenny said to me, what you doing, and I said re reading the book, then I would have to, at tell that I'm reading a book. If I hesitated, then I would have been out out of the game. And then, when there were two people left, they would come back to back. And when someone said "splat," the two remaining people would have to splat each other. And who and whoever said "splat" last would be eliminated. And the last person still in the game would win. This exercise was a is a mental pre preparation. I felt that that exercise was enjoyable because it was fun trying to think of a variety of ideas that that you could have imagined of doing and so was the 
the, the sharing the sweet exercise one as well. That that was a mental preparation as well. Um, my strengths were that I won I won the game, but my weaknesses was I had to do the final round twice with Coral because the first time the first time was a draw and only one person could win. Um, today I rate myself a, a ten out of ten. Because I, I caught who the murderer was, and and I won the the game, and I won the game of of what you're doing, because I've I've never done done that before. And the the reason why we do did the stretches and the Alexander technique, it was because the Alexander technique is a is a program of physical training created or, or developed by the Australian actor and voice technician and it focuses on simple activities like standing, sitting and breathing to help actors to become aware of muscles, tension, behaviour habits so that they can improvise or develop the use of their body need the, the breathing exercise. The breathing exercise will help to improve my STEMI and, and vocal skills such as paste and pitch.